Cyclone was introduced into the Masters of the Universe toyline in 1985. Given that the cartoon series was drawing to a close by the time he was introduced, his role in the show is so brief as to be almost non-existent. He appears only in minor, fleeting cameo appearances in two episodes, Beauty and the Beast and Here, There, Skeletors Everywhere. Other than showcasing his powers, these episodes give no development to the character whatsoever. Cyclone features in the relaunch of the Masters of the Universe toy line and cartoon series in 2002. His appearance was slightly modified by sculptors for horsemen for his action figure, giving him a samurai warrior-like appearance. He is introduced in the episode The Mystery of Anwat Gar as the final defender of an ancient race who once inhabited the now deserted island of Anwat Gar, on which he had remained alone for thousands of years. His mission is to guard the legacy stones of the island, which are stolen by Skeletor and subsequently destroyed by He-Man to ensure safety. He-Man then invites Cyclone to join the Masters. Here, a mystical and centuries-old samurai warrior rather than pure cyborg, Cyclone's power over wind now seems to be partially, if not wholly, magical rather than cybernetic like his 1980s counterpart. His appearance is also here faintly Asian, as is his background. The island and fighting style of Anwat Gar had a Japanese influence, though possibly based on Angkor Wat. His personality is wise and somber, and in subsequent episodes he frequently recites metaphors and eloquent phrases of wisdom which often annoy his battle comrade. Nothing is revealed about his history prior to guarding Anwat Gar, and his subsequent appearances are generally cameos and supporting roles, but he does receive a spotlight role again in the episode Separation, in which he goes in search of his family, but finds nothing, and upon realizing they have been dead for centuries, decides the Masters are his true family. Cyclone's name was originally going to be Tornado, in his first mini-comic appearance in Spike or Strikes. One panel mistakenly refers to him by his original name. In the 1980s version, he was once a circus acrobat called the Human Tornado, who was turned into a cyborg by Skeletor's Mechano Ray, which also turned a giant spider into Skeletor's Spider vehicle. In the UK range of comics produced by London Editions, he was an athlete called Dash Shell from the alien world of Snave who came close to death after being injured in an assault by the evil horde. His father, who was a scientist, saved his life by regenerating him into the cyborg form of Cyclone. And after driving the horde from Snave, he left for Eternia to help the masters in their war against the horde. This comic series presents him as a brave and daring, but also brash and exuberant, often annoying his comrades by boasting and occasionally rushing headlong into danger. The Masters of the Universe Classics toy line offers yet another origin story for him, as his real name being Cyclone, son of Dilex. He is the protector of the Legacy Stones and the last defender of Anwat Gar. Cyclone joined the Masters of the Universe after the stones were destroyed and his mission completed. He wears the last remaining tech vest armor created by his Gar ancestors to terrorize Eternia after the Great Wars. Its built-in wind rockets allow the user to great create powerful vortexes of spinning energy as a defensive weapon or to fly through the air. Cyclone has upgraded his armor to also include a cosmic radar which lets him sense physical presence of evil long before others. Cyclone's wind powers and radar chest make him combat ready. Alright guys, welcome back to Com Again. Uh, this week I'm going to be reviewing Cyclone from the Master of the Universe 2000X series. Now, I've always loved this character. Uh, for some reason, I, I'm not sure if it's just his design, uh, the colors, or just everything about him in particular. Uh, I've just always loved him since the original toy line. Uh, and as with the original toy line, he does come with a shield. Uh, I don't believe this part was a part of the original toy line. He did have this little radar in the center of the chest, which I'm glad they kept. It is holographic. Here, there. And he does come with his standard action feature which was not present on the Masters of the Universe Classics, but was present 
in the original He-Man toy line as well as the 2000X series. So. Um, <clears throat> one of his action features is this little saucer or disc thing does come down so that he can create tornadoes. Uh, he's got this red crown. I figure it is a little bit dusty because he's been sitting on my shelf for quite a while. Uh, one thing that's different between this one and the original as well as the classics is these little fins here on his arms are not painted blue. Uh, normally they are painted uh, blue in the other two toy lines, but for whatever reason here they didn't paint them. He does have a more armored look, which is very cool. They used a completely different sculpt for the face. His helmet looks very armored. Uh, looks almost Aztec in a way. He's got the red discs on his shoulders, arms, and calves as well as a red techno belt. See all the... Very cool design for this figure. Now, the articulation in this figure is about the same as the original toy line with the exception of the head. The head is not on a ball joint and it is not rubbery, so it cannot be popped off. Uh, it just moves from side to side. Uh, again, you have the action feature of the waist spin. His arms move up and down and out. That's with both arms. There is no elbow joint. However, there is a forearm joint. Turns all the way around. And that's, once again, on both arms. Let me go ahead and take his shield off. I don't think his shield's been off since I bought this character, honestly. And I bought him quite a few years ago, really. Alright, there we go. So, both forearms, you can spin both hands. Uh, his legs do go all the way out. A little bit of hindrance by the armored portion of the legs but not too much you know you can still get that nice splits pose uh, they do move forward and backward and there is no knee articulation no thigh articulation or boot articulation there is no foot swivel so that's one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of articulation. Plus the articulation with this uh, disc. So technically 11 points of articulation. He is about the same size as all the other Masters of the Universe 2000X figures. Um, maybe a slight difference between them. 
uh, depending on the character, really. As you can see, his shield has that ringed planet, the same as his belt. And this hologram here, this radar, is supposed to detect evil throughout the entire universe. Whenever evil gets close, you know, you can detect it. You got a light blue shade on his face, white and black eyes. The attention to detail on this was really good. But once again, my figure is extremely dusty. I'm going to have to clean them sometime soon. I just haven't got around to it yet. You got a more darker royal blue on his chest, abs, and groin, as well as his gloves and boots. The same shade of red on the belt, the saucers on his gloves, boots, Shoulders, crown, as well as the disc on his back. Um, overall, the painting, the paint on this character is very good. I don't see any bleeding of the paint between portions of it. Uh, there's no blue on where it's supposed to be red, no blue where it's supposed to be yellow, no yellow where it's supposed to be blue. Um, the only thing really is, and this might just be because how of how it connected to the figure. right under the saucer there on the arms there is red but I think it's all connected and they glued that part to the rest of the arm so I'm pretty sure the way they did this was they painted each piece individually so that there would be no paint bleeding um, other than you know they couldn't paint this individually but even so here they did a very good job uh, there is a little bit of light blue on the edge of the crown but that's be, to be expected but overall I don't see anywhere else where there's any paint bleeding so there you have it guys Cyclone from the Masters of the Universe 2000 X toy line and of course if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.